It's your main man, E Vapors, back with another live, man. Come on now. And on this live, y'all already seen the title, you seen the thumbnail, man. How to grow your YouTube channel in 30 days. Man, because these last 30 days have really been crazy for me and a specific 30-day period, in, in my opinion, for my YouTube channel was literally since I left Memphis, Tennessee, man. So my growth from literally November 2nd, we'll just say December 2nd, um, has been astronomical, crazy. And I had to go back and look at my analytics. And a lot of YouTubers, be honest, you don't look at your analytics. Maybe you feel like it's a little overwhelming or you don't understand the analytics. Let me tell you, I've been digging into these analytics, man, for over a year now. And I'm really, really be beginning to understand exactly how to use those analytics. Um, shout out to uh, 5 to 10. What's going on, man? I had to come on this live, man. I didn't go live this weekend, man. So I said, let me come on here. And I have people all the time talk about, man, your channel's been growing. You know, you're over 2,000 subs now. Um, it seems like yesterday you just went over 1,000. It feels like it. You know, but I've gone back and kind of looked at the analytics and it's telling me and I'm seeing the things that I've been doing that works. And anything I can do to save people time, to save people money, that's what I'm all about doing, man. So this particular live, man, I, I really want to just focus in on um, the things that really in a 30 day period um, can move your YouTube channel, you know, to, to a good place. And if you look at your Google Analytics or YouTube analytics, you can see they generally capture 28 days. And that reason obviously is, you know, the smallest month is 28 days, which is February when it's not a leap year. So they capture it 28 days, but we'll just say a whole month, 30 day period of time is how you really, that's how I look at that 28 day, 28 day mark. And the number one thing, the number one thing, man, you have to load videos onto YouTube. Oh, that's common sense. No, 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 no. It sounds like common sense, but it's not. You have to load YouTube videos on a regular basis. And if y'all have noticed, man, my channel, man, either I'm going live like I'm going live right now or I'm loading, you know, the full videos. And as of late, something that's really, really been put being pushed by YouTube and that's YouTube shorts. YouTube shorts, man. What are YouTube shorts? S-H-O-R-T-S. Shorts are videos that you shoot horizontally. Any video you shoot horizontally that's 60 seconds or less is a YouTube short. That's a you that's a, by definition, that's a YouTube short. Any video you shoot horizontally is a YouTube short. Those YouTube shorts are really working and they're getting a lot of attention, and YouTube is really pushing them out, and your channel can receive a lot of subscribers in a short amount of time. So let's say like for us, you know, this channel, you know, I, I do cars and, you know, I've been doing my vlog. So I, it's, it's a car vlog motivation, MCM, motivation, cars and money. That's what I've been doing. So I literally, man, my guy, No Limit Eddie, um, told me about the shorts about a month ago. And I, I started loading the shorts and I started seeing even more growth. I was already seeing growth from November 2nd when I loaded my first video, thanks to L Boogie, my guy L Boogie, man, who shot the video. Uh, when I came back from Memphis, I loaded that video and I started loading videos regularly. A couple of videos a week. A couple of videos a week and started doing lives. A couple of videos a week and doing lives. A couple of videos a week and doing lives. And understanding the analytics. Well, what's my target age group? What videos have done well in the past? You got to check that out. And you have to be able to say, these videos didn't work. Man, when I tell you I love motivation and, you know, I, if you look at my, my my playlist, man, there's plenty of videos that are titled Motivation This, Motivation That, um, some good ones, man. I'm talking about some really, really good ones, some sound advice, man. But that doesn't work on YouTube when you are a broad channel. You have to niche down, N-I-C-H-E. You probably heard that before. You have to niche down, man. And once I niche down and I sprinkle my motivation inside of my car vlog, I sprinkle the motivation in there and it always it works a whole lot better versus labeling a video, you know, five ways to climb out of depression. You know what I mean? And I give you five ways that I personally, you know, climb out of depression. And, you know, all those although those are valid. It's a valid list of five things. 
it wasn't working for my channel and reason being um, not being in that niche and not locking in and being laser focused on that niche. Uh, five to ten sprinkle like E40. Yeah, sprinkle me, baby. What you know about E40? Five to ten. Come on, man. Too young for that. I see my brother Robert Keen is in here. I see you. But yeah, man, staying in your niche, loading videos on a regular basis, and also looking in your analytics and see what's the drop off point in your videos. Because YouTube will tell you when we talk about retention rate. What's the drop off period in YouTube video? What where where are they getting out of there? You know, what is your average video retention rate? You know, is it you know one minute, 30 seconds? Is it five minutes? You know, that would be really good. You know, you're hitting at five, but let's say it's at 130. Then you can kind of go back and look at those videos and what's happening at 130. Let's say, for example, that at that point it's dead air. You know, or maybe you're doing a lot of ums. So maybe you could consider working on your ums or maybe you can consider if you do like i do and cut out dead space so if i was in a video and you don't see it because i cut it out so generally in a video when i'm talking about something and i'm thinking i might have a, a, a 10 second pause i cut that out so i'll be like you know what and in real life it was a 10 second pause then i go into my thought i'll say you know what i cut the 10 seconds out and all you see is you know what i really was thinking about doing xyz those type of things really, really, really help, man, when you do that. Um, what's going on? SS Cover 1 GTA. Was that five? I see you, man. Robert Smith, what's going on, man? We, we, my main focus on this video, man, is just trying to help folk grow their YouTube channel in 30 days, man. And when, when you are reading your analytics, when you can look in the mirror and say, you know what? These type of videos don't work. And I had to do that. I had to look at my channel and say, these videos aren't working. As much as I like to do them, maybe they'll be better suited for another channel. And that's actually going to lead me to uh, an, a, another point. You know, I've created other channels that aren't associated with this channel. They aren't associated with this channel. And I've never even mentioned those channels on this channel. You know, I'm really literally growing those channels on their own, not associating them with this, not associating them with my eVapors um, Instagram on my Twitter, I'm just really just saying, you know what? I'm going to let analytics take that channel and those videos that I load and go off from there. Now, uh, let me see what the comments say. Everyday life with Kelly Girls. Hello to the host. What's going on, Kelly Girls? Um, SS, I see you. Um, Everyday life with Kelly Girls. Hello to everyone in the chat. Yeah, five to ten. We need to get together and talk about stock. Yeah, man, five to ten. We can do that. That's that's easy talk. That's an easy talk. Uh, five I'm all about making money, man. I'm out, I'm all about that. All about making money too, my friend. Um, and yeah, those are some things that I enjoy doing. Um, whether it's my um, marketing company slash um, consulting firm, you know, that's my number one thing that I created. And you know, I also do uh, forex, you know, currency trading, and you know, I like to buy individual stocks. And I'm learning more about uh, stock options, man. Learning more about stock options. But when you're consistently loading videos on YouTube, don't beat yourself up and say, man, I need to edit this. I need to edit that. I know what I just said about editing. If that's your main concern, if that's holding you up from loading your videos, you're not going to be successful. Load your video. Simon Taylor, what's going on? Uh, D.Y.L. Smith, what's going on? I'm Robert Smith's son. Okay. What's going on? What's up now? Good to see you in here. Shane, what's going on? Load those videos, man. Start your YouTube channel. You know, don't be afraid to start your YouTube channel. And another key of success for, for YouTube channels, man, people watch videos that they can hear very well and that they can see very well without a lot of disruption. So if you're holding your cell phone like this and it's shaky, that turns some people off. If you're using your cell phone or any camera and you're out in the wind and you don't have, you know, the, the cover over the microphone, um, that's gonna turn a lot of people off. Or if your camera's a long ways away and you're in a room with a lot of echo, people don't wanna hear that. People don't wanna hear that. Yeah, SS cover, yeah, yeah, Forex is popping, man. We, we get it in, we got we have a company where we teach people how to uh, how to trade, 365tradinggroup.com. Um, 
But yeah, so the sound really matters, man. And the visuals really matter. Your cell phone is as powerful enough of a tool that you'll ever need to do YouTube. Promise you that. Now, me personally, um, I feel like you should shoot your YouTube videos in landscape. And I'm using a gimbal and I can do everything on one hand. And I even have the little attachment at the bottom that I can sit it down just like that. And, and with one hand, I can do everything with one hand. If I wanted to shoot this way, boom, I can do that. If I want to shoot this way, I can go this way. And you can't see it, but I can use the front camera or the back camera. Now, one of my secrets is, and I guess it's not a secret. I'm sure I'm not the only person in the world doing it. I use the gimbal, which makes the videos real smooth, not choppy. And I usually hold it on this part down here. And I use the back camera. I use the back camera. The back camera is I shoot in 4K. The front camera is probably, I think, 720, I believe, or, or less. Where well, you can't see yourself. I know exactly where I'm at. I know that my camera is picking me up. It's at face level. I know I'm in the shot. And the more you do it, the better you get. So that's how I do it, man. I shoot with the rear camera and I use the gimbal. And this is a DJI Osmo 3. And if you go to any one of my videos, um, I have a link um, in the video and you can buy one of these. Um, these are, I think this one is like $120, I believe. I have an Amazon affiliate link um, in my videos and you can go to my Amazon affiliate link. It's called Best Tech and you can see all of the different things that I use from the gimbal to the phone that I shoot with and also um, my uh, drone that I use, the, the uh, DJI Mavic Air 2. Let me see the comments. Karan Kane, bro, because of you, I pulled the trigger. What? You did? Come on now. Not because of me now. You just telling me that, man. You trying to make the old man date. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Yeah, you gonna have to um um hit me on IG, man, with a picture or something, man. E vapors on IG, man. Send me a picture, a video or something, man. Let me celebrate with you, man. Hey, Rubik's three is in here, man. It's my 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 family down there in Charlotte, man. Rubik's three is in the building. King of the shorts. Hey, Rubik's, I think I didn't start a wave, man. I think I didn't start the shorts wave. I'm, I'm telling you, now, I didn't invent shorts. I'm just saying I introduced shorts to a lot of my people, you know, that I hadn't seen, you know, do any, any shorts before. And one of my guys told me, he like sent me a text message about a month ago. And, and he was like, I see you, Rubik's. I got one short. Rubik's, you better keep, put them on. Out. Let's just say this. Let's try the shorts out for December, right? Let's just try to do three or four shorts five shorts, you know, for December. And let's just see what happens. That's it. You know what I'm saying? If it don't work and they don't get the views, man, I mean, I'm not going to delete them, I don't think. I'm just going to leave them on there. And if they only got an hour of watch time, cool. I, I, I'll take that, man. But I, I, I have one um, Hellcat video of burnout. And so far, I've seen uh, 48 sub subscribers come from that one 30-second video. I mean, I don't think that's a bad thing, in my opinion. And YouTube is pushing for us to do shorts. What are shorts again? Shorts are 30-second videos that are shot in vertical mode. And you don't have to use a gimbal, obviously. I'm using a gimbal. But I'm a, and I, I'll give you another, another trick that I do, y'all. I'm going to give y'all another trick, Rubik's or anybody out there that's doing shorts. So what I'll do... So let's say you have a video uh, on your phone and it's not shot in vertical. Man, all you got to do is watch it on your phone, like, you know, watch it vertically and screen record the video. So screen record the video that you're watching in vertical, any video, watch it and screen record it in vertical. And see, this is where I'm going, Rubik's. Watch any video in vertical, screen record it. Now you have a vertical file in your phone. And then what I do with my phone, I'll go and edit because sometimes I don't want like the my battery power and all that stuff showing. So I'll crop it down and from the bottom, I'll crop it up just a little bit. And then sometimes just to make sure that it's vertical, I'll crop it in just a little bit more and then save it in my phone and then go to, you know, uh, YouTube app and load the junk right there from the phone. 
I'm here to help, man. Now, now Rubik's, did I help you? Tell the truth now. It's tell the truth. You'll, you'll live a long time. Did I just help somebody? Did, did, I just, did I just give somebody some free game? Some free YouTube game. And I you got to use a gimbal. Some y'all, man. This is, I think this thing $119. I got a link in, in all my videos, man. Come on, hey Rubik's, I'm trying to help folks, man. I hey, I just I just want a little bit of credit. That's all, man. I just I just wanted somebody to be like, yeah, yeah, you did, man. I don't ask for a whole much in, a whole bunch in life, man. I really don't ask for a whole bunch. But at the end of the day, I just want somebody to be like, thank you. At the end of the day, I just want somebody to be like, man, Vapors told me that, man. At the end of the day, I just want somebody to salute you, boy, man. That's all I ask for, man. The hybrid king don't ask for a whole lot, man. He don't ask for a whole lot. I got number of free game to give. Y'all see me on Instagram live on Sundays, man. I give out all kind of free game, man. I don't be like, there's a pay link right here. No, there's no pay link. This is free game. Now, I'm gonna tell you what's not free. This uh Bel Air hat and this Bel Air uh hoodie. That was not free. Let me read these comments, man. Uh Ruben said you did uh five to ten. He laughing. Uh Ruben, that was big time free game. For real, hey, for sure, man. Five to ten. That he go with the comedy five to ten. I got to, I got to be me, man. I'm sorry, man. I try to be straight late sometimes, but then I got to cut a food sometimes. Um, was that is that like Dylan Smith, short for Dylan Smith, D Y L Smith? He said thank you. Um, SS cover, uh, 119 kind of pricing. That is, it used to be 150, it's 119 now. It's 119 now. This used to be 150, but man, it does everything, man. It even has a, a a tracking mode to where I can sit it down and I can walk. It'll go with me. It'll go wherever I go on the tracking mode. You know what I mean? It has a lot of great tools, man. This is like having a person to record for you. You know, it has like hyperlapse and has all kind of stuff, man. Really, really good tool, man. Really, really good tool. Like I said it's, it's about one nineteen now. It used to be one fifty because now they have a DJI Osmo three that's out. This is the DJI Osmo two. That works for a GoPro. Well, let, let's see. Um, it has what? Well, no, it's well. Hmm. Where's my bag? Hold on. Let me see. I don't know, Rubens. You don't have to use the app with it, right? You don't have to use the app with it. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all another secret. You know, I like GoPros and all of that, man. But um, I bought this junk right here, forty nine dollars. C O O. A U cool. It's it's a it's cool. C O O A U. I paid forty nine dollars for this jump, man. Forty nine dollars, and I mean, it looked like a GoPro to me. It's black. <laughs> I mean, it, I've shot a lot of videos with it. Let's see. Let's put this. Let's put this. If it'll fit in here, this is this is really made for phones. I think, personally speaking, because it, it's balanced. But let's see. Let's put this joint in here. Hey, Rubens, it's black, so it's a GoPro. It's a GoPro black. Let me see. Is it? Oh man, it ain't balancing. Oh man, let me try it again. We cut it off. I think I need more weight. Let's try it again. Saving you some money, um, Rubens. You, you might you might not even have to buy this junk. Yeah, I think it's looking. I think it's looking for um looking for more weight. Yeah, it's 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 not even um. Yeah. Yeah, it's not recognizing. It needs more weight, man. We tried. Uh-oh. Hold on. Is it turning? Or oh, is that turn by itself? No, nah, it's not turning. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it needs more weight. Just like most gimbals, there's a balance. So I'm sure it's set for the weight. But it has a DJI app that works with it. Yeah, it's just cover. Yeah, it's too light. Uh huh. Yeah, it's too light, man. It's not giving me enough um enough weight in there. But uh, I like it though, man. I like this. But and I'm gonna tell you what I'm about to do, actually, man. I'm, I'm actually about to uh, switch it up, man. Because as I as I'm learning, you know, and y'all y'all can tell uh, y'all can tell me too, man. On y'all thoughts, um, I'm actually with, with my car being gone 15 weeks. I've been doing a lot more vlog stuff, and then I did the little vlog the other day, um, and I got a video dropping tomorrow. Y'all should be able to see it. It's out there set on the premiere. 
Um, you know, I, I sprinkled in a little bit more of my, my family, man, a little bit more stuff at the house. I had some people tell me, and I, I went on, I went live leaving one of my um, consulting gigs. I do consulting for businesses and stuff, right? So I was on my way back and I was talking to y'all and I stopped by um, a suit store to pick up a suit and, and folk was like, man, take us in there with you. I was going to end the live. So I took the, the phone in there with me, man. And people was like, they really enjoyed, you know, seeing me interact with people. They said they don't see me um, interact with a lot of people. And you are one of the few who pronounce my YouTube name correctly. I mean, I can read that junk, right? Did, did I say SS Cover 1 GTA 5? Right? SS Cover? I think that's what it is, right? Robel. What's up in here, Robel? Yeah, but um, so I'm actually doing more vlog stuff, man. You know, doing more vlog stuff. Silverback, what's going on? Uh, 12 Veils. Good evening, host. Are you using two cameras or the camera we see um, not in use? Oh, I'm using my MacBook Pro um, right here. I'm, I'm pointing to it like y'all can see it. I was just showing um, everybody one of my um, vlogging tools. This is one of my vlogging tools right here. I love using this DJI Osmo 3 gimbal. It's lightweight. And I actually use the front camera when I'm recording and I do it like this because I record myself in 4K. I really like the 4K um, recording that I do with my, with my iPhone. And that was leading me to my point of I'm actually about to do more vlogging stuff so I'm, I'm really going to buy a camera instead of using my phone. Or I'll say this, I'm going to use the camera more than I'm going to use um, the phone itself. Because there are times when I get phone calls um, while I'm vlogging. And I know what y'all are saying. Hey, man, just put it on do not disturb mode. You know what? If I put it on do not disturb mode, you know what's going to happen? I'm going to forget to take it off of do not disturb mode. And if I don't have my Apple Watch with me, because this is the cellular Apple Watch, you know, I miss some phone calls, so I don't, I don't want to do that. And then in real life, don't you get phone calls? So if, if I'm vlogging and I'm using my, my camera, so let's say I'm using my camera to vlog, and then I get a phone call, what's wrong with answering the phone on the vlog? Because that conversation may be a part of a bigger piece of the vlog. Hey, man, I see the new real New York in your city is in here, man. Um, Rubik's 3. I played strong safety in high school. I played cornerback and actually I played defensive end in high school and which turned me into a cornerback, um, you know, based on um, weight and everything. But my speed off the edge was crazy, man, um, in high school. Again, I went to a, a mid-sized high school. So, you know, you didn't have to be 200 pound uh, defensive end, you know, like in the league. We're talking about high school, you know what I mean? So I, I was pretty good, man, off the end, man, blocking punts and containing the run and dropping back, dropping back in pass coverage was really my uh, my strong suit, man. So, yeah, you know, I was a, you know, a mini Deion Sanders out there, man. And I really enjoyed um, playing um, competitive flag football when I was in the Navy. So we played competitive flag football, dead serious competitive flag football as a skill. And if you don't understand it, you be like, oh, that's only flag football. That means you're not a, you're not a football player if you don't understand that, right? Now, what you, what I also did, I played um, in the military. They have like a tackle football league, at least the Marine Corps did, and it's it's like a level, a semi-pro level, um, f full contact football. I mean, with a regular season, with a playoff, and with a, a Super Bowl. So, man, you know, I, I had fun playing cornerback um, for two years um, in that little semi-pro joint, man. My love. Of sport history and i used to dominate a lot of um basketball gyms too man used to, used to dominate man down at camp lejeune all day run down there man i used to call myself raw base when it come to basketball because it takes two some of y'all might catch that some of y'all might might not some of y'all will and some of y'all won't mr Uwe is in here zay trd Zay TRD, Mr. Ooey is in here. See, I done gave you a whole opening, man. Hey, Zay, let me shoot your um, let me voice or voice over your uh your intro one time. Let's try something, man. Hey, y'all, it's Mr. Zay TRD, Mr. Ooey. 
It's Mr. Ooh-wee, Zay T-R-D. And then you go into your video, you know what I mean? The music and everything. And, and your, your close-ups of your car and all that good stuff, man. Let your boy Vapor shine one time on the on the voiceover. You know what I mean? He ain't even got to show my face, man. But, you know, if you want me to, I'll, I'll throw the crown on King Vapors and throw my white Adidas suit on or the black and gold Adidas suit on or the white and gold Adidas suit on. King Vapors, you know how we get it. Come on, man. Don't make me go in the King character, man. We all kings and queens. Don't forget that, man. Um, traveling with Toy. Poke Cat Loco in his eye, too. What? What did I miss? Cat Loco with the eyes. What's going on, Cat Loco? What did I miss? Five to ten. You look like my brother-in-law, Alan Rossum, that played kickoff return. That's your brother-in-law? Okay. Small world, man. Five to ten. Cornerback. Cat Loco. Sup, SS Cover One, GTA Five, traveling with Toy, Rubik's, Josh and I go. Uh, oh, got into it over a blocked field goal. I know I blocked that field goal, not him. That's crazy. Robert, it was up. Toy, ZTRD was good. Feel free, feel free, bro. Yes, sir. Uh, Silver back said, "Hey, Cat Loco, five to ten. You can't hit that high note like Zay." Ooh wee! <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> but I can go low too, though. Come on now, King Vapors, King Vapors, can put the bass in it, man. That's a real man right here, the real man voice. It ain't nothing fake about it. You understand? Ooh wee, Mr. Zay T R D. Let's go. Yes, sir. Calvin with Toy Vapors, you need the hat when you say ooh wee. You mean the crown? I need the crown on when. I Oh no, not that hat. You you talking about the hat that was uh, on um New York and your city live? You talking about that hat? Man, y'all in the comments cutting up. I don't even be knowing what y'all be going with. If I don't stay on the comments, y'all be in there acting crazy. And I don't know what's going on, man. Y'all had to fill me in. Um, cover one, I'm always fooling around for sure. Yeah, yeah. SS cover one. I like that, man. That's, that's a dope name. Like I said, if you don't understand the football language or um, Grand Theft Auto 5, you, you, you know, you're going to miss out. Uh, Rubik's, uh, we had a few more people from our school make the league. Oh, that's what it is, Rubik's. New York. Hey, that old town road. Yeah. <laughs> that hat was wild, man. I seen the hat. That's my boy. Zay, my boy. I wasn't going to say nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's my boy. So I said, I ain't gonna say nothing. Man. I ain't gonna roast him. You know, that's my that's my man, you know. And um, but you know, demonology, he he don't care. He he gonna roast you. It don't matter. It don't matter what you got going on. You you can come in there with a with a preaching collar on and, and he gonna he gonna get you. He gonna roast you. That's just how he do. Um uh Quran Kane, now nah, bro. I've been watching your videos for a while now, and others that's got the I eight. Your videos pretty much sealed the deal for me, bro. Hey, and and I'm a I'm an I eight lover. And people that know me know that my particular um, I is in the dealership, is at the dealership right now. And they've, they've been trying to figure out some things on it. So when I tell people, hey, if you're going to go buy I and almost any car, honestly, but definitely the I I say, man, buy it under warranty and, you know, purchase the extended warranty. That's just the best advice I can give anybody buying an I-8. Um, it says cover one. Babies, we, yeah, man, y'all be cutting up, man. I be I be seeing like the the LOL emojis and stuff, I'm, and I'm trying to, you know, put a point out right. And I'm like, I, I don't want to lose lose focus of my point because I really want to know what's funny and that what's going on. And I want to respond right away. So sometimes I, I be a little late trying to find out what's going on, man. But if y'all having a good time, that's the whole purpose of this, man. Yeah, I, the video is titled "How to Grow Your, Your YouTube Channel in 30 Days," and I answered a lot of those questions. So I really put that information out early on in this live, man. So. Uh, and of course, if y'all got questions about that or anything, man, y'all can always ask me, man. I'm here for y'all, man. And literally, y'all, because of y'all hard work, man, because of y'all uh, watching playlists, y'all, some of y'all, I heard some of y'all people say, man, y'all in the kitchen cooking and y'all got the playlist running and you listening to my videos. You know what I mean? You know, some of y'all said, man, I, before I go to bed, man, I hit that playlist and go to bed with the playlist running, man, instead of the TV running. Man, I appreciate that because we got so many people playing my videos, playing my playlist. Um, commenting on my videos and it, it's helping grow the channel, man. So I'm I'm working. So it's like this, man. Let me work, 
And if y'all rocking, if y'all E Vapors fam, E Vapors F A M fam, y'all E Vapors fam for real, man, play them playlists, man. Share my link on Facebook, on Snap, on Twitter, on Reddit, all of them. Share my links out, man. You know what I mean? If you really believe we got something good over here, I want to. I want y'all to be able to be like, man. You know what? Um, I remember, man. We was rocking with E Vapors, man. We had like a thousand, fifteen hundred. Or some of y'all just around here, 2000, Robel, Vapor Gang. You know, that's right, all day, man. Vapors, King Vapors, King E Vapors, a hey, hybrid king, all of that's me, man. And it's all real. And y'all know me. Y'all, y'all see me in other lives and stuff, man. I'm the same dude here. I'm the and that's that's I'm in, in other lives. I'm the same dude in real life. Some of y'all know me in real life and have met me, and I'm not vlogging. You know, like I met some of y'all in Memphis, man. Y'all, I'm the same dude that y'all met in Memphis as I am here at home. I'm, I'm a natural giver, man. So y'all see me, I like to give away money. I give away money in my vlogs. I'm I like to go to people's channels, you know, if they monetize and do super chats. I've been to some folk channels, man, that's not monetized and, and, and they had a cash app and I hit them on the cash app because to me, when you give, you get so much back, man. And when you put a smile on somebody's face, man, I don't care if it's a $10, $5, or a hundred dollar super chat, man. Put a smile on somebody's face, man. It's all love. And in person and in real life, when you're able to give the people, man, and put a smile on their face, man. If you're in the grocery store, man, pay for somebody's stuff, man. If you gotta do a little quick glance and make sure that joint ain't, you know, two hundred, three hundred dollars, you know what I mean? Depending on what your what your budget is, then you do that. Let you know, hang around after they after they um, you know, pay for their stuff and just say, hey, man, I, I want to pay for their stuff. You know, or if you're in the drive through you know if you're in Starbucks line, they ain't going to buy nothing that's crazy. You know what I mean? Or you could just leave a 20 at the counter and be like, hey, man, pay for these people behind me stuff, man. You know, that $20 ain't going to go very far at Starbucks. That's probably two people's stuff or maybe one and a half. <laughs> but just be a giver, man, and, and be real about it. New York, be right back for sure, man. I said, hold on, let me, hold on. This is my dude right here, cover one, man. Let me put him in the game. Let me put cover one in the game. Did I, what did I just do? Cover one. I I used to be on the island, bro. When I played, especially well, mainly when I played competitive uh, flag football um, in Virginia um, on a Navy base, man. Hey, put me on over here by myself. Y'all play zone over here, and, and y'all y'all just pack it in right over here. Let me get out here on their on they hot guy, and it, you know that ain't we ain't worrying about nothing. No worries at all, man. And I, one, I'm gonna do one of these lives. I'm gonna bring my football jerseys down here, and I'm, I got a jersey, man. It's got prime time on the back. We all had nicknames on on that particular team, man. And I always go by. I've always gone by prime time, man, because I played just like them. My game was just like them. I was always, you know, super fast, man. That four four, that four four speed, man. I always had that, man. And well, of course, as you get older, you go from four four to four no more. But um, hey. I had it at one time. I had it at one time, man. So I don't have nothing to prove now. I already did it. You know what I'm saying? I'm already in the Hall of Fame. Standing in the Hall of Fame. Woo! I'm already there. They already know my name. Come on now. King Vapors. Getting in my zone now, man. Got me a little bit of ginger. Like real ginger. Chopped up ginger. Um, lemon tea. And I sweeten it with 100% uh, honey. I'm telling you, give you a little pep in your step. Robel, you got a premiere in the morning, I see. Yeah. Got a premiere in the morning, man. I was trying to release that joint today, man, but I um, had had my family time and stuff like that. So I, I, I wasn't able to uh, edit my, my video, man. So, um, yeah, I, I dropped it in there, man, and did a little bit of around the house vlogging and just kind of did an update on the i eight. You know, on the i and um, some other stuff in there. I want to tell you everything. I want you to watch the video. Watch the video. You know, watch the video. You know, I always got some nuggets in there for y'all, man. And I, I really do appreciate y'all comments when y'all comment on the video, especially that first hour. Um, that, and that's another tip for YouTubers. And you really should watch all of the videos in the um, YouTubers Academy. It's free. Watch all of them, man. That first hour, you need likes, comments, and shares. If y'all can get in there, likes, comment, and share. Hey, 
Thank you, Robel. Robel done dropped my link, my Robin Hood link, man. Come on, Robel. Thank you, Robel. Appreciate you, brother. You all right, man. I appreciate that, man. And that link that Robel dropped, you can get a free stock. For one, it's free. You're going to get a free stock. I'll get a free stock. And, you know, I'll end up talking more um, probably on the Daily Grind family channel. That's a new channel that I just took over called the Daily Grind family. All right. And we're going to do more business and money related type stuff on the Daily Grind family channel. So I think over there I'm going to talk about Robin Hood. I'm going to bring somebody on to, um, you know, put up on the screen, you know, how to walk and talk through Robin Hood. Like actually do a screen share um, with his phone or with his computer and just kind of help people in that way. And I'm, I'm actually taking a course now um, with, a, with, with a friend of mine. He actually makes a lot of money um, buying and selling, you know, options, stock options. So I'm learning about the stock options game. And then the company that my nephew started, 365tradinggroup.com, we're taking that company to a new level as well. And we're going to have opportunities, man, to where, you know, you can in, in, invest you know, money to trade in Forex. And literally, you're able to follow the trades that we put in, um, high winning percentage traders. And, you know, you can trade with us. So, you, you know... You, Let's say this trader right here is at eighty five percent win rate. You know what I mean. So think about it: uh, a eighty five percent increase on your money. You know that you're trading. So um, yeah, we'll talk about that a whole another time, man. Let me read some of these comments. Um, Zay laughing his head off. Um, SS couple one. I still got it. Okay, okay. Rubens uh, can't can't burn me if I'm in zone. Look. I guess that's true. If you're in zone, and that might not be your responsibility, but if he in your zone, then you got to pick him up. Uh, can't if you're driving otherwise. Facts. Uh, this is couple one. Let's go. Uh, DR Lifestyle. What's up? I see you, man. Silverback, pay attention. Watch the whole video. Yeah, you got to watch the whole video, man. I'm, I drop nuggets through the whole video. You don't want to miss nothing. I'm, I Look, I'm preparing y'all for don't skip no ads. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't skip no y'all ever y'all hear the YouTuber say that right? Don't skip no ads now. I'm not gonna tell you to not skip no ad. I'm gonna say watch at least one ad. That's gonna, that's gonna be my thing. I ain't gonna do like everybody else do. Watch at least one ad, please. All right. Watch at least one ad. Y'all gotta be man. Can y'all watch at least one ad? Cause this I'm telling you, y'all know how YouTubers be out here capping and stuff, right? They be lying and everything. You know about what they about to do, and you know I got I, I didn't get the car because of this and all that. Let me tell y'all what ain't never gonna happen on this channel. We're gonna be like my man Rubens, no cap, no clickbait. We want the we do want the thumbnail to be appealing. Yes, we do, but you're not gonna see me on the thumbnail with my arms folded and my car on the um on the flatbed. You know, looking at it, saying goodbye to the I. And in real life, you know, it's going to the dealership, you know what I mean, to be repaired. You know what I mean? I'm just I'm just not with that, man. I'm just on some. I want you to click and get what you see. You know what I'm saying? It's ATRD. Don't skip them ads. Rubens 3, I heard clicking on the ads will help as well. Oh, absolutely. Yes, watching the ads. Watching the ads all the way through does help. So the watch time is going to help. And watching the whole ad is going to help that YouTuber um, get the, the maximum revenue from the ads. Okay. And get more, get a higher um, CPM. You know what I mean? That's just because when I'm at work, I got to run about 40 minutes. Got to check these tanks. I'll be back if you still broadcast. For sure, man. I appreciate you, brother. Solid, man. It's ATRD facts, 5 to 10. Some of them ads be 30 minutes. Hey, you got to skip that. Hey, man, I, I'm not putting, well, maybe at the end. I think you should have like a 30-minute ad at the end. So let's just say, because sometimes people get busy and they end up, you know, letting ads run. I mean, if you got a 30-minute ad in the middle of your video, you really think somebody's going to watch a 30-minute ad? I think that's ridiculous for you to put a 30-minute video, uh, a 30-minute ad on your video. That's That's ridiculous. Shane L, okay, I'm home and now catching up on the, on the chats. For sure, man. Zay TRD. I watched the whole ad, but if the ad got something I want, I'm definitely clicking it and pop. Oh, absolutely. I've seen plenty of ads on things that I actually 
am interested in. So I clicked the ad and I bought plenty of things through um, not just YouTube ads, uh, Instagram ads. You know, if I see something I like, I, I'll, I'll click it. I tell you what ads I don't like. I can't stand those ads where the dude with the soap and the dude be putting the soap on and all that stuff, man. Talking about some Sasquatch and I, I click right on through that, man. I'm like, I don't, I don't even like watching that, that ad. I'm like, can y'all pl please stop sending me that ad about that soap? Please, if anybody's listening, uh, Ruby Street, you should do, you should have did a video saying goodbye to the I8 since it had been gone. Look, Rubik's, I didn't know I was going to be saying goodbye. I ain't going to be gone 15 weeks. I just made the video, you know what I'm saying, driving it on the truck, on the flatbed, and, you know, saying goodbye like, hey, man, my, my car isn't going to be in the shop for a couple of days or whatever, man. I ain't know it was going to be gone for 15 weeks, man. Shane, uh, Robert, but seriously, though, I was, I was someone on someone video today. It was like 12 minutes long, and they had like eight or nine commercials on it. I get it if it was two or three. But man, yeah, man. Oh, trust me, man. Some of my, you know, favorite YouTubers that I watch will have 30 minute ads or ad like every five minutes. Know what I'm gonna know what I'm gonna do? Bye bye. See you later. Just too many interruptions, man. And then if it's non-skippable, and I'm like, I'm trying to watch the video, man. I'm cool. It's, I'm cool with like put your three videos in there, and then let's say right at your end screen, go ahead and put that thirty minute ad in there. Maybe somebody will watch it, and maybe the, maybe somebody will be interested in that thirty minute ad, whatever it is that they're selling. You know, probably something you know multi level marketing or some kind of course or something that they can buy to become rich. But let them watch it at the end of the video. I'm not watching it. It's, it'll be a turn off to me. ZTR uh, Robel, no, no, Silverback. For real, 30 minutes or 30 seconds? 30 minutes. No, they have, I've, I've seen some ad. I've looked at ad and I, I, I clicked it and I'm like, oh, this thing got 20 some minutes left. Oh no, I'm out of here. Uh, five to 10, I haven't seen that one. Rubik's talking Old Spice. No, 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 not, no, not Old Spice. It's some kind of Sasquatch or some kind of, it's some dude with a beard. He always talking and then there'd be some other dude in the shower and he's standing in front of the shower talking about the dude and the soap and, and, some foolishness, man. I can't. I, I can't think of name. I always skip it when I see it. Silverback Robel, that's an automatic unsubscribe. <laughs> I mean, I ain't tripping on the unsubscribe. You know what I mean? I just that particular video. I, I just probably won't watch it. You know, I click click past about two ads. You know, if it's becoming a nuisance, I just won't watch it. My time is money too. But yeah, five to ten, like you caught your car cheating. I like the video where it seemed like you was stalking your car in the shop. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, 5 to 10, man. I, I appreciate you watching that video, man. That was when I had to take the loaner back. So I had a, you know, I had my, they had my car for so long, I went past whatever time it was supposed to have a loaner. And I said, well, shoot, y'all went past the time you're supposed to have somebody a car. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So don't act like I'm doing something wrong by having a loaner more than a month or whatever. So I had never seen my car inside the shop so i pull up and i was like is that my car that is my car up up in there and i was i was determined i said man look i'm going back there because I, I seen my friend i pat go in the back and you know he was back there looking at his car when it was in there one time and i'm like well shoot man i see other people going back here i'm going back here the most thing most the most they could do is be like hey sir you gotta get out of here by then i already walked back there i already shot me a little picture a little video and it's my car i just want to check out my car ZTRD, that's crazy, Robert. But yeah, unless they manually put the ads in there, you really can't control how many ads is in the video. But I know the more video, the more views a video gets, the more ads YouTube automatically puts. Thank you for that knowledge, Zay. Zay, I had a whole movie before. It was one hour and 30 minutes. I was like, watch three minutes and skip. Hey, for sure. Matter of fact, I have seen one that was really, really long like that. Because, you know, let's say I'm watching a video and then an ad come on and I might do something else right quick while the ad is on. You know what I'm saying? To, to, to burn the time or whatever. Then I come back. If I come back a whole three minutes later and the ad's still going and tomorrow has got another hour left, 30 minutes left. I'm not watching that. Um, uh, Rubens, I don't get ads about beards. I can't grow one. That's funny. 
I don't think that's why you don't get the beard ad, sir. Honestly, Robel, how the project doing? Vapors. Um, we talking about the uh, Monte Carlo, uh, Robel, the the Monte Carlo um, from ARC Motorsports. I think that's what you're talking about. Let me make sure. Silverback, I try and support as many people as I can, but let's be real. I'm subscribed to over 200 channels. No, Silverback, you right. You right, Silverback, man. And that's why when I see y'all in here, like right now, when I see y'all in here, and thank y'all for smashing the like button, you know, because I always forget to smash the like button when I go to people's lives. I had to back out and smash the like button and come back in the chat. Um, so if you hadn't smashed the like button, back out the chat, hit that like button, and then, you know, slide back up in here. Um, but, yeah, man, I, I'm subscribed to a whole bunch of folks. Yeah, they got them likes. I remember on um, Demonology channel, man, he was like, man, drop them likes in the comments. And everybody was dropping thumbs up. Drop them thumbs up in the comments, man. Get it, get the thumbs up in the comments. I thought that was dope this morning, man, when he did that. But, yeah, Silverback, you can't watch everybody. You think you can watch everybody video. You can't watch everybody full video. So you're going to have channels that you thoroughly enjoy and you watch their videos. You know what I mean? You're going to have channels that you might listen in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to have channels, hopefully mine, that you watch the whole video and you enjoy it and you enjoy following along. And that's another reason, man, with the whole vlog style, man. I'm doing more vlog styling on this channel and I, I hope y'all like it. It's the only thing I can say, man. I hope y'all like it. Um, you know, every channel has to evolve, man. And my channel was never the BMW i8 channel starring E Vapors as the driver. You know what I mean? It was never just the i8 channel, man. It was always E Vapors. And I didn't even start my channel with the i8, you know what I'm saying, as the, the marquee piece. And if you read the um description of my channel, it, it does it, it, it talks about everything that this channel is all about, man. MCM, motivation, cause the money, man. We're gonna do more vlog stuff, so you're gonna see me at the house more. We're gonna interact with people more. Because I had people tell me they like when I interact with people. And I'm begging my wife to get her to be on the, on the channel more. Say hello, sweetie. Hi. Yeah, so my sweetheart, you know, trying to get her to be in the channel. Especially now that, you know, the channel is, is about to be. We might be monetized right now, as far as I know. Because in my analytics, you know, I know they say some hours don't count. You know, hours, uh, certain hours don't count. If a person is not logged in, there you go. If a person is not logged in and they're watching your videos, those hours don't count. So if you have a Google account and you're not logged in and you just, if you're not logged in and you're watching somebody's channel, they don't get credit for those hours. My channel will show, let's say if it showed 4,500 hours and 500 hours with somebody that wasn't logged in, I'll see 500 hours, but it won't count toward um, monetization. Feel me? Zay TRD Facts, Silverback. Half the time, I just go in chronological order on notifications to catch up. Then after that, I got by I got by my most recent videos and whoever comments, I watch their videos or try. I like that, Zay. And what I do too, when I get the notifications, man, I'll go ahead and click it and use the comment. And then when I get time, I'll look at my history and I'll see the videos that I touched and then I'll go and I'll, I'll, I'll watch those videos. And again, like, like Silverback said, man, hey, Silverback said, uh, hi, Mrs. Vapors. Yeah, yeah. Like like Zay said, man. Um, and silver like Silverback said, you can't watch everybody's videos, man. You can be subscribed to 200, 300, 400, a thousand people. You're not gonna watch everybody's video. I know that. There's no way you would be interested in watching everybody's video. And man, it's some YouTubers, man, that I rock with. Like I like them, I know them in person, but you know, I, I just can't watch everybody's video. And I don't think they watch my videos because I don't see them in I don't see them in any of my comments. So it don't hurt my feelings to not watch their full video. But you know what I always do? I always go and comment. All my big YouTuber friends and stuff, go on their page and, and check their videos out, their most recent ones. You're going to see Vapors in the comments. I'm going to at least go comment and hit the thumbs up to help that algorithm push you up and out of here. You know what I mean? But I might not be able to watch a 45-minute vlog or a 30-minute vlog or a 25-minute vlog. You know what I mean? But I'm at least... Hit you with a comment though. King Vapor's gonna at least drop them two crowns in there. Or oh, I used to drop the spaceship in there all the time, the prayer hands and the spaceship, you know. But since my eye ain't been gone 15 weeks, man, I ain't been dropping the spaceship a whole lot. I've been dropping the crown for King Vapors. I turned I turned into King Vapors right before Memphis. 
I became King Vapors, King E Vapors, the hybrid king, whatever you want to call me, King E Vapors. And, and if you got anything negative to say, bring your money. If you want to say something negative, you got to bring money. I let you say something negative. If you if you send me cash out, you can you can say something disparaging. You got, but you're gonna have to pay. Mozilla Rich, what's going on, man? What's going on, man? You know what? I like all y'all in here, man. But I tell you what, Robel, you're a good dude, man. You're a good dude, Robel. I appreciate you, brother. Uh, let me see, Rubik's, uh talking to Silverback facts. I try to watch those that support heavy first. Let me tell y'all, I said this before. And I'm glad you said that, Zay. If you're not watching my videos, and we let's say we're YouTubers on the grind, you're not watching my YouTube videos, at a minimum, you're not commenting. There you go. I can't track if you're really watching. You know what I'm saying? But I know if you're commenting on my videos, man, I know if I post something in my community tab and you comment, you know what I mean? I know if you share my community tab or you, or, or you share... Um, a video of mine on Instagram. You know what I mean? A lot of us are also on Instagram too. Man, I'm going to watch your videos. I'm going to comment on your videos. But if you don't, I'm probably not. And again, that ain't no knock. It don't mean you don't like me because you don't. Maybe you don't. Maybe some people don't. But that's fine too. I, my, my mortgage is still going to get paid regardless of who watched my videos or not. Dun, um, but what I was trying to say was I rock with you. You rock with me. You watch my videos and co you comment on my videos. I'm going to comment on your videos and watch your videos too. Just that simple, man. Whether you family, whether you a friend, whether you a colleague from the military and we rock together for 10, 20, 15 years. If you're not commenting on my videos, I'm not going to watch your videos. <gasps> Did he say that? Yeah, I said that. Go to my comment section. See who in there commenting. Those are the people's videos that I watch. If you like Zay said, if you comment on my video, I'm probably gonna click your name and go. You know, if I if I didn't get notification, because YouTube be tripping on notifications sometimes. Let's be honest, we don't always get notifications on time or at all. Sometimes I don't know. I've watched some videos on that, and I didn't get a good answer on why. If I subscribe to ten channels, why don't I get 10, 10 channels notifications when a video comes out? And there's never been a solid answer for that. But me, I can see my comments because trust me, I y'all let me know. I respond to every single comment. Tell me if I hadn't responded to every single one of y'all. Raise your hand in here if I didn't respond to your comment. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna read some comments while I'm waiting. Shane L, I love the channel. I would be mad when I miss your live and I have to watch a replay. Oh man, Shane, I appreciate that, brother. Real talk, man. Five to ten. My kids watch my channel all the time, but they're not logged in. Oh man, five to ten. At a minimum, um, this is something that I did um, because I have different ideas, right, for YouTube channels, and sometimes I want to compartmentalize those things. So I've created like let's say four um, Gmail accounts for four different um, channels. Now you don't have to have a different Gmail account for a channel. You can have a bunch of channels under one Gmail, but I, I've compartmentalized some things, right? So just have them create a create a Gmail account for them, and so that they, so that way they can log in and watch um, your channel. I think that'd be the better way to do it. Um, it's ATRD facts. It's a grind. I'm real late responding to that. Rubik's three facts supporting is just as much as a grind as making content. Man, Rubik's. That's why if you can just drop a thumbs up on my video, man, and watch it for about a minute or two, man, I appreciate you. Good Lord. Thank you. Or at least a comment, man, a comment and maybe even a forward, a share in the community tab or a share on Instagram. If you got swipe up, you know what I mean? Something. Facebook, something. Traveling with toy. Drop the, 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 uh, the muscle on. Donald McFarlane. Watching on the stick and commenting on the phone. Boy, you, you that one right there, man. I generally like to watch it on the TV, which I guess that's my Apple TV, and I'm watching it on the big TV. And then on my phone, like, yeah, I'll be commenting on my phone a lot of times. I like doing it that way. Silverback, 16, 25, 0. People here, thumbs up, thumbs down. Oh, thank you. Don't say that thumbs down too fast. Somebody be in the mess around and put one in there. 
Yeah, we got 17, 16, 17 people in here. We got 25 thumbs up, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all the number one rock stars. Because guess what? Guess who can't have a million subscribers? A YouTuber, if you don't have a million subscribers. Think about what I just said. There, there's not a single YouTuber that is so wonderful, that is so great, that is so articulate and so appealing. If we don't subscribe and if we don't watch, they will be taking orders at your local drive through You understand what I'm saying? Or they won't be doing YouTube, period, hands down. You guys, we, the people that watch folk videos, man, we're the reason they are where they are. And I, I know a lot of YouTubers, man, don't think that way. They don't appreciate the people that's watching. They forgot where they came from. And it's really sad and it's kind of embarrassing to see that, in my opinion. Um, and, I, and a lot of them guys, you know, they didn't have money before they came to YouTube. So they got a little taste of money. And in my and, and I'm, I'm saying this in the most humblest of ways. I mean, just because you're getting 5000 a month on YouTube, that's small money, man. That ain't no money. Before taxes, that's 60000 After taxes, it's probably like forty. What's that? What's five thousand dollars a month? Even 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 if you're getting ten thousand dollars a month from YouTube, right? You're getting ten thousand dollars a month from YouTube. After taxes, you you getting about six, so you you making about sixty thousand after taxes. You know what I mean? And don't mess around and be leasing three cars and four cars and got and then paying rent. You know, expensive rent somewhere because you know your, your credit ain't that good and and you had to pay more to get everything you got. You are gonna get stuck in a YouTube cycle, you know what I mean? Of having to make videos. And I think that's why a lot of YouTubers in that situation are, are capping, are faking, are lying, um, are, are doing a lot of clickbait because they have to make videos. If they don't make videos, they are gonna get reposed. If they don't make videos, they are gonna get evicted. Cause now they stuck living a lifestyle, trying to, you know, impress people, you know, making, you know, buying cars, thinking that it's going to grow their YouTube channel when they just stand inside of a debt cycle. A debt cycle. That's, I think that's why I like TJ Me and that mentor a lot. Um, he came in to YouTube with money. That's why I like Demonology. He come into the, the YouTube game with money. And even um, Ma Defame, you know, he said he works a, a, a great job and he make money on his job. So he ain't come to YouTube, you know, having to fake and, and, and cap and do all these different things to get bread. And, and, and even for myself, man, come on, man. Y'all, if y'all know my life story, man, I done came from nothing, man. We sitting on the golf course right now, man. So I don't have to come to YouTube and say, man, I, I'm desperate. I got to make some content, man, to get this money. So I'm going to pretend like I'm going to the car lot today. I'm going to pretend like I got disapproved. And then I'm going to go to the car lot the next day and, and pretend like I got this. And then, you know, feel me? Like making five videos out of going to buy a car. Come on, man. Let's stop that. Let's stop or stand in front of cars with your hands out like this right here and you stand in front of some high priced car and then naturally people are like oh snap he got a such and such click click and you at the mall standing in front of somebody else's car come on man them days over with it's a new wave of youtubers on the way i'll lead the way because i'm not scared to say what, what, what needs to be said if it's real it's real if you say in your video i'm going to buy a red car and, and, and red car right there and then six months go by and we never hear about the red car again what happened you did what 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 we waiting on the red car so that means you said something and it wasn't true we find out a lot of folk is not true man we're finding out that a lot of folk are not true they don't rent especially when the pandemic hit when the pandemic hit and they couldn't go out and do all these foolish videos that they normally do they had to get real creative, man. Some folks started hustling people, man. Some folks started taking money from people, man. You know what I mean? Real creative, man. That rent man said, hey, we need that rent money. The lease man said, we need that lease money. Take it from her. If you see her doing that, take it from her. Don't point to her. Take it from her. There you go. Over here being daddy, too. If you see her doing something that she shouldn't do, help her out, okay? Give me a pound. Boom, there it is. I love you, little girl. Yeah. Oh, let me read these comments. It's ATRD. I just shared out on my community tab, man. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you, man. 
Zay, I don't do clickbait. I just like being authentic and growing organically, man. Yeah, you should. And you should have appealing thumbnails. Absolutely, you should. Rubik's to Silverback. Um, link clicking on an ad, something like that. Someone told me about that. Oh, like. Gotcha. Donald McFarlane, pure facts. Traveling with Toy. Yeah, TJ and Demonaz are very humble people. Much respect. Yeah, man. And meeting both of them in person and being able to talk to them offline. Two amazing gentlemen, man. And I, I talk to demonology almost every day. You know what I mean? And it's fun, it's funny, man. Like, you, you know, in the short amount of time I've been knowing some of these guys, man. When I when I look at my phone and I see this demonology call, I'm just like, and I and then I tell myself, I'm like, Eric. You're not no young dude, man. You know what I'm saying? You on the same level as these guys, man. They just more known on YouTube, man. You know, you're more, more known in real life as impacting people's lives and changing people's lives. Got a huge name in real life, impacting thousands and thousands of people, whether it's when I was in the military or with my family and friends of, of taking them from nothing and building them up. So it's just like now, since Memphis, my name has really inside the car community, YouTube so to speak, it's really been growing, man. So I just got to thank God and I got to thank everybody in this chat. I got to thank everybody that comes to my channel and is pushing me, pushing me to be myself because I like to laugh and joke and I wasn't doing a lot of that in my earlier videos, man. So it's like I'm bringing, y'all brought that out of me. Y'all allowing me to be myself. And that really happened um, on New York in your city live, man. I was on his live and that week, I was really down about doing YouTube, period, man. It was just like, yo, I'm trying to help people, man. And it's like, I don't, I feel like it should be doing way better. And I'm watching Joe with crack crab legs and, you know, doing all kind of stuff, man. I ain't hating on them. I ain't mad with them. But they eating food and it's be a million views because they was eating crab legs. You know what I mean? So I was just kind of down that week. And after a year, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm just not in a place where I feel like I should be. And I went on that, on that, on his show. And Real Too Real was on there. And he was like, hey, bro, don't quit, man. And Stunner Reese was like, yo, man, you got to stay in the game, baby. And I had just met them guys on that live. I had never met them in person. They were super encouraging. And Demonology was encouraging. Mission Flyer, um, TK's Garage. Um, yeah, and like I said, New York and your city. And then all of y'all, some of y'all was in the chat too, man. Y'all was like, nah, Vapors, man, don't quit, man. We need you, man. I, I, I listen to you in the morning. Or, man, I listen to you in the evening time, man. Well, bro, man, my kids love watching your channel, man. Um, so all that pushed me, and I went to Memphis. I went to Memphis. Lord, demon, hold up, hold up. I just brought the man name up, man, and he is, he's in here now, y'all. Do y'all see that, man? That's that's the real Demonology 638, who eating them crab legs. Demonology, man, these folk got a million views eating crab legs. Me and my boy Rubens was like, we might start eating crab legs. Oh, what Rubens said, you got to do a short eating crab legs. The time is now. Hey, Rubens, I might. I don't know, Rubens, man. I'm scared, man. I don't know if I want to put that on my channel, man. I might crack and do some crab legs. Oh, these things is good. Oh, my goodness. These crab legs is good. And just cut a fool and have the, the butter sauce dripping down my beard and all that, man. 60 second, 60 second uh, YouTube short. Shot in vertical. Bam. Y'all like the gimbal. I got a link in my, in, in my videos now. Buy it from me. So I can get me a little affiliate commission piece. All right. It's going to cost you the same. It ain't going to cost you no more. I'm just going to get me a little $2 piece, man, when you go in and buy that junk. All right. You should become an Amazon affiliate, too. It's absolutely free. You do the Amazon affiliate link and you go on Amazon and pick the products you want. I love technology. So I have a section called Best Tech. And I picked all of the, the, the tech, not technological things in there and y'all can buy them. Um, Demon Dollar said, I seen a dude eating a bowl of soup with one million views. I believe that. I seen the lady eating the crab legs, man. And I was just like, I'm happy for the sister because she can pay her rent. She can pay my mortgage. She probably can pay y'all mortgage too with the number of views that she's getting. She's killing YouTube eating crab legs. And I'm happy for her. But I was just a little bit down because I'm doing all this motivation, man. I'm I'm editing my videos for everybody, man. I got my little drone. I was adding drone footage in there and all that good stuff, man. And I was just like, man, this this ain't right, man. I'm, I'm just not. I just need to quit doing YouTube, man. Just stick out here in the real world and motivate people like I've been doing. But I went to Memphis, man. And to God be the glory, man. Literally, my channel has skyrocketed, man. Subscribers have gone through. Somebody's subscribing literally every day. Multiple people are subscribing every day. 
Um, before I went to Memphis, I had about 2,200 watch hours. And that was October 31st. I loaded my first video November 2nd, and it shot up to 12,000 views. And I looked at my analytics. So demonology, I hope you hear this. I looked at my analytics, and the search terms was demonology, demonology 638, demonology versus don't master. Those were the top searches for the view, the 12,000 views for my channel. And then that video, I didn't even shoot the video. My homeboy shot the video. Um, L Boogie, he said, put this on your channel. Think about it, man. I had just met this brother in Memphis. And he said, man, load this video on your channel. And that video has gone over 12, 13,000 views because people were searching for demonology and don't mess. Um, demonology said, thank you for helping me with my Instagram edits. Oh, man. Hey, man, look. Man, you know, you good people, man. Like, demon, like I ain't just saying it because you in here. I was talking about you before you even came in here, man. I was saying you and TJ, y'all good people. But I talked to you literally a couple times a week. I feel like I talked to you almost every other day or something, man. So it's a blessing, man. I see my phone. It's like, oh, hold up. This is the big. I get nervous. I get the big YouTubers calling my phone. What do I do? What do I say? Oh, say hello. Hello. <laughs> but yeah, man, anything I do can do for you, uh, Demonology, man. Hey, I'm with it, man. And I can't wait, y'all. The, the, the big YouTuber call out April 10th at the Texas Motorplex in Dallas, Texas. Demonology versus Donk Master. Don't miss it. Be there. And I, I got to be there at least a day, maybe two days ahead. I, I, of course, one day ahead. I might come up there two days ahead, man. Yeah, man. What is it? Uh, T-A-B-A-N-S-I. Oh, man, I don't want to mess your name up. Uh, what's good, Vape? Hey man, I'm 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 living, man. I'm alive, man. I'm happy. My family's intact. My 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 19 month old daughter's doing great. My seven year old daughter's doing great, man. My wife of 15 years, man. We doing great, man. Life is good. The big showdown too. Okay, y'all. It's called the big showdown two. Demonology versus Dunk Master. April 10th, Dallas, Texas. Texas Motorplex. Don't miss it. I missed my calling, man. I should have been on a radio show, man. Silverback, Demonology, I'm going to organize a Dodge versus Ford event. You interested? Hey, Silverback. Hey, send them the details, man. Let them see the fine details. Organize that thing, man. Put the fine details together, man. Location, time, who going to be there, where it's going to be at, who coordinated with the track. Put all the fine details in there, man, and send it over there. Um, it's actually part three, not part two. You talking about the showdown? I mean, Demonology said um, showdown two. I know they've raced two times already, but he said the big showdown too. So I got to go with what the man said. <laughs> that's that's his event. That ain't mine. You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah. I can't wait, man, to see them. I like to see them guys interact with each other, man. If y'all haven't seen Demonology and uh, Don't Master go back and forth, you know, both of them got big smiles on their faces, man. Talking junk again. It's all in fun, all in jest. Them guys love each other, man. They respect for each other. I was talking to somebody earlier, actually on my Car Talk TV, on my Car Talk TV on Instagram. If y'all don't know about that, hey, look up Car Talk TV on Instagram, okay? And and and, and rock with me on Car Talk TV on Instagram. And y'all see, Demonology just said, "Scary fast is different." So Scary Fast was a different event. The Big Showdown 1 already occurred in Dallas, and now this is going to be the Big Showdown 2. There you go. 5 to 10. Who's going to Apple uh, Gapplebee's? Hey, 5 to 10. Somebody going. Somebody going. But but um, 5 to 10, I don't know how many um, I don't know how many of my videos you saw when I was in Memphis, man, and some of the race videos I posted, man. My claim to fame. Now, I didn't say I won these races. My claim, to, now, I did whoop some folk. I did whoop a Hellcat, a manual Hellcat. Yes, I did, in the I-8. And I did beat a Scat Pat twice um, in the I-8. Yes, I did. So I do have me five wins under my belt. Okay, five out of ten ain't bad. In, the I, in a rented I-8. It wasn't even my I-8. You feel me? But my claim to fame is I'm the only person in the entire world to race demonology while he was driving a Lamborghini Aventador SVJ, a, a $750,000 car, okay? 
I also raised TJ Mean that mentor, men, mentor in the Lamborghini SVJ. And I also raised uh, Mod DeFame in the manual Hellcat. Okay? And I raised Mission Flyer too. So my claim to fame, I'm the only man in the world to have done that all in the same day, man. And the nerve of me to do that in a hybrid, man. Come on, man. King Vapors, man. That's me. I'm the only one. You, you find me the person that can say they did that. They raised Demonology. They raised TJ Me and that mentor. And they raised Mod to Fame all in the same day, man. Come on. King Vapors. King Vape. That's right, man. That's me. With a smile on my face, man. Uh, your boy Tizzle, what's going on, man? Man, your boy Tizzle in here, man. That's that he's certified, man. That's a good dude right there, man. Hey, Rubik's. Hey, man, thank y'all. Hey, Rubik's dropped my link. Um, Rubik's dropped the link to my uh car talk TV on, on Instagram. Yeah, car talk TV, man. Y'all check me out, man. Every Sunday at 5 p.m. Every Sunday, 5 p.m., man, we're bringing somebody from the car community, man, to you. And we don't want to just talk about the car. We want to talk about their journey. We're going to bring you positive people, man, people that are making an impact in the car world, in their local community, man. And they want to just share knowledge with you, man, on Car Talk TV, man, every Sunday, 5 p.m. And we're loading videos onto YouTube now. So we also have the Car Talk TV on YouTube, uh, 5 to 10, a rented hybrid. I sure did. Hey, only the king can fly to town in his personal jet, pull up. They got an eye waiting on him, on me. I get in the eye, I, I pull my robe up, throw it over my lap, and get in the eye. And you, you bring the crown down because the eye has a low ceiling. So I brought the crown down, got in the eye, checked it out, made sure it was up to standard. And then I pull off, went to the hotel, man, got checked in. You know what I mean? Valet style, boom, go in my room. You know, change my clothes to some to a full white outfit joint on the Friday night joint. I had on the full white Adidas suit, man, with the black stripes because I had a plan, right? I had the white Adidas suit with the black stripes and the white Adidas with the black stripe low top joints, right? That's my whole king fit. So I pull up at the car event. Everybody like, dang, who this dude in all white driving a black I eight with the doors up? He looks important. I am. Rock with everybody, man. Met a lot of good YouTubers, man. Got a lot of phone numbers and, and subscribed to a lot of people, man, and just met a lot of great people. So, boom, on Saturday, the main event. So, I had to pull up at the main event. I had a plan, right? I had my black soccer jersey on, and it's got YouTube on the chest, and it's got E Vapors embroidered over top of YouTube. Man, I, people, yo, where you get that from, man? That black, that joint hot, man. And I had my my uh, my King T'Challa um, uh, under all my sleeves on, you know what I mean? Because it's going to be a little chilly that day. So I had the black with the gold Adidas stripes on my suit, right? And the, and the gold Adidas, man. The pure gold. The, yes, they're real gold. Pure gold Adidas, right? And then when it got dark, I said, now I got on the black. I'm going to blend in at night. So I had in my trunk my white Adidas suit with the gold stripes, not the black stripes that I wore the day before. I, I hear you. You thought I wore the same thing the next day. I have done that before. But it's this time, I had on the white with the gold stripe so I could stand out at night. And then I put the white hat on. So it's nighttime. My footage at nighttime is all crispy because I got, I got on all white and I was standing out not blending in the crowd. Come on, man. That's how kings think, man. Then when I said, that's why you king. Silverback, hey, Tizzle, D. Brooks. What up, fellas? Silverback, hey, D. Brooks, your boy Tizzle. Oh, man, I just, uh, a fella from around the way. Come on, Tizzle, man. I like that humble type stuff, man. It's all good, baby. You know what I'm saying? People, people rock with you, man, because you, you, hey, you, you hey, it's your boy Tizzle, man. People rock with you. You know, you solid, man. D. Brooks, Silverback. Silverback, 69. People with... Oh, who was trying to post a link? Who was trying to post a link? Man, Silverback, man, you family, man. You've been around for a long time. Hold on. Let me get you straight. Bam! Should have been on. Should have been on. Should have been on. Five to ten. Uh, when you want to go. Where y'all? Where you talking about going? Silverback, well, I missed something. Where? What I missed? How about a free gaparoni pizza? Oh man, who getting the, who getting the gaparoni pizza, man? Who racing? Where y'all racing at? And tell me y'all racing on the track, not in the streets, man. I want y'all to be safe out here, man. I don't know if it's because I'm older and mature type. No, I ain't gonna say that because even when I was young, man, I, I was never the type of dude to uh, do no racing, you know. 
Have I sped in traffic? Of course I have. You know what I'm saying? Have I showed somebody the tail lights in traffic? You know, hit the gas a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I done that before. But um, I've never been about that racing type stuff, man. That's just not my thing, man. But yeah, Silverbacks are only on the track. Yeah. I caught the racing bug in Memphis. I see why Demonology loves it so much. I see why uh, Mod of Fame, Mission Flyer, the whole list, I see why they love it so much, man. Um, that controlled environment, just straight ahead, let's go. Now, I didn't do any dig races. Um, I would love to have used the launch control um, on the I-8. But the thing about the I-8, well, I guess I could have done it. Um, but the thing about the I-8, you have to drive the I-8 for six miles without cutting the car off um, before the launch mode can be activated. Yeah. So you got to drive the I-8 for six miles. So I guess I could have drove around a little bit, you know, and, and then got in line. But nah, that would have been too much work. That would have been too much work, man. So, yeah, you got to drive six miles before you can use the launch control on the BMW I-8. So if you didn't know that, now you know, man. You heard it from the I-8 expert, your main man, E-Vapors, King Vapors, King Vape, whatever you want to call me, man. I'm with it. And if it's something crazy, you got to send me some money if you're talking crazy. Uh, Shane L on the computer under my other account, under another account. Silverback only on the track. Yeah, Silverback, be safe and respectful of others. Um, take it to the track. Take it to the track, baby. Um, D Brooks at the track. Silverback said, please pay your bets. Absolutely. If you, if you, uh, and that's not just with on the track, man. If you say you're going to do something, let's just say your word. If you say you're going to do something, do it. If you say, hey, we're going we gonna to bet this or, you know, the winner get, you know, my gimbal. You lose, you got to give him the gimbal, man. That That's just being a man. That's just being a man. That's all that is, man. You know, to me, you're not a real man if you don't honor your word. And it, it's just like that, man. That's on, on some man code, on some G code. You, your, your word is your word, man. Your word is your bond, man. I, ain't, I don't care how much money you got. I don't care how many subscribers you got. I don't care about none of that stuff, right? If you as a man say something and you don't do it, that's all I need to know from you, baby. And I'm not going to call you and tell you you didn't do it because you know you didn't do it. And trust me, man, I, I've had encounters. I'm 47, man. I've had encounters with people over the years, you know, in person, online, whatever you want to call it. And I never call and say, hey, man, what happened to such and such? Hey Shane, hey, thank you, Shane, for dropping that um that uh that Amazon link right there, man. For the uh for the gimbal. It's the uh DJI Osmo 3, man. That's it right here. Appreciate that, Shane. Man, Shane, Shane, you all right with me, man. Look, look, let, let's get this bread, man, and let's spread the bread out, man. All, all my, my loyal folk, man, y'all gonna get some bread. Let me tell you, y'all gonna get some bread, man. We're gonna get this bread, we're gonna split this bread up, man. We're gonna get some of these YouTube checks and we just gonna bust this bust the check. With the with the the beginners and the the folk that was here from the beginning, man, y'all here now. We just gonna bust it up. You know what I mean? Hey, we gonna bust up the YouTube check. I ain't never seen nobody bust a YouTube check. That's right, man. Your boy E Baby, we busting YouTube check. I'm busting checks now. I give away money now. Why? Because I, I love to make people happy, man. And the one thing that everybody can use, even a millionaire. You think you send a millionaire a hundred dollars? He gonna turn it down? He see hundred dollars on the ground or she? Is not gonna pick the hundred dollars up, huh? Think again. That's that's why they're mean that because they take advantage of every situation. There's a hundred dollars laying there. Pick it up. Somebody sent me fifty dollars. Spin it. Come on, man. We busting checks down. That's what he, I want folks to be like, man. Y'all heard about that guy? He vapors, man. He giving away his YouTube checks. Man, he crazy. No, nah, I ain't crazy. My family, we good right now without a single. I'm not even. I'm not even monetized yet. We good, right? I mean, look around. We good. So if I'm good now, anything else that's, that comes in, man, it's a blessing. And I thank God, man. And I just feel like, why not give it back to the people, man, that helped me get here? Why not give it back to the people that watch my videos, man, that watch the ads, that share my links, you know what I mean, that that just rock with E-Vapors, man, like some of y'all that I met in Memphis. And I'm like, it felt cool to have people that was looking forward to meeting me. Again, think about how weird that, that Mike can kind of feel, right? 
Cause you know you, I mean, we a lot of us are real humble people, man. I come from humble beginnings and everything. So yeah, I know what celebrities are and all that. And I'm like, oh, I ain't no celebrity. But think about it. If you're on TV, on YouTube, you become somewhat of a celebrity because people, uh, let's say they like your 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 comedy, they like your um, your style, they like the way you dress, um, they like uh, the cause, they like your presentation, they like the things that you do. And you know they got family. Oh man, hey, man, check out Evaves, man. Boom, boom, boom. And then, then um, they meet you, and it's like, oh, can I take a picture with you? So I, I had some of that happen a couple of times, man. I thought that was like the dopest thing in the world because I do it all the time. I'm like, oh, that go uh, real too real, man. Let me get a picture with the brother. That was Stella Reese, man. Man, go demonology. You know, all, just all these different people, man. I'm like, I wanted pictures with all of them, man, because it's like, you know, I'm watching these guys, and it's kind of like my favorite television stars. I'm meeting them in person. But it's almost like each one of them was like, oh, no, nah, man, I ain't no celebrity, man. But it's kind of like, well, well, you are a celebrity, man. Like, you know, a lot of them guys got 50, 100,000, over 100,000 subscribers, man. Um, and my man, um, Rich Rebuilds, um, I interviewed him on Car Talk TV. I mean, Rich has over 871,000 subscribers, man. That's a lot of people that are really into what one person is doing, man. I think that's absolutely amazing. And even talking to him, he was low key. He was just kind of like, oh, no, nah. he's trying to shy away from it. But I'm like, bro, you're a celebrity, man. And it's cool. Demonology, he's a celebrity, man. That don't mean they're not good family people, man. Down to earth folk that'll break bread with you, that'll laugh and, and, and cut you and cut on you. You know what I mean? Joke with you, joan on you, roast you. You know what I mean? And, and, and generally when somebody roasts somebody because they love you, man, it's out of respect. And um, I'm that way, man. You know, I, I like to roast people, man. And like, I know demonology do, man, because he talked junk about everybody. Talk junk about me, called me Burger King. He, you know, he talked all kind of junk to me, man. But it's out of love, man. It's with a smile on his face. And I have a smile on my face, man. I just, I just enjoy it, man. Because think about it, man. If you, at least in my world, man, where I grew up at, I mean, all of our friends, we cut on each other. You don't cut on a stranger, some dude you don't know. You don't get into a fight. You mean some stranger, you're just going to roll up on them and talk about their pants and talk about their hat, talk about their beard or, or whatever. Just some strange person? Of course not, man. So you cut on the folk that you love, man. Your circle, your people, man. That's that's a sign of respect, you know. But, uh, you know, most, most of my friends know, don't step in the ring with me, baby. Don't step in that verbal arena with me, baby. If you want to go toe for toe, blow for blow, joan for joan, you better be ready, man. And we're going to be friends after this over. We're going to be friends all the way through it. And we're going to be friends after, man. Traveling with Toy. Bedtime for me. Me too, Toy. I'm about to um, rock rock out too. Uh, Nighty Vapors. Have a good night, y'all. And stay safe out there, man. Thank you. Um, your boy Tizzle, I'm good, but I want to be better. Hey, for sure, Tizzle, man. And you know what, brother? And this is what I tell you, man. And, you know, I know a lot of y'all are younger than me, man. Most of y'all are. And if you really, and it don't have to be me, if you watch... There's a lot of great role models out here, man. Tap into them, man. Inbox them. You know, if they doing something that you want to do, line of work, hey, ask them. You know, maybe they'll respond. Maybe they won't. If they don't respond, ask somebody else. You know what I mean? Um, it says cover one, you are not the oldest. I don't think. How old are you, sir? I think you're like 32, right? It says cover one, 32. I think SS Cover One in here talking crazy. He know he is not the oldest person in here. I think he's in his 30s. I think so. But yeah, young brothers and young sisters, man, y'all tap in to folk, man. Hit them on their inbox, man. Ask them questions. Hey, how did you get to where you are? And they might not be able to respond or they might not want to respond. Just go to somebody else, man. I already got some copy paste stuff that I do, like the budget app that I use, um, the, the, um, the paying off debt system that I use. I already got that on the copy paste. I send it to folk all the time, man. And just rock with it or don't rock with it. But it's literally major keys that saved my life, man. Um, SS Cover 1 GTA 5. I'm 45, bro. Man, you ain't listening to me then, brother. I told you I'm 47, man. I turned 47 August 4th. Me and um, President Obama have the same birth date. So it's me. Well, they're, he's older than me. So President Obama, Jeff Gordon, and myself. N Jeff Gordon, the NASCAR driver, legendary NASCAR driver. 
and E Vapors, we all had the same birthday. Silverback, I'm over 50. Well, Silverback, I met you in person and you don't look over 50, but I believe you. I take your word for it. You don't look over 50. Because some of y'all, I met Silverback in person um, in Memphis. You know, he was there. We got to hang out for quite a little while, man. Talk for a little while. Um, it was it was it was dope to meet folk that's that rock with me. Like I see Silverback, not just in my um lives and something. I see Silverback name and comment, and some of y'all other ones too on a lot of folks um chats and stuff, man. So I, I appreciate appreciate the love, man, from y'all, man. Y'all y'all are good people, Silverback, good people. But yeah, cover one, man. I thought you was like thirty something, man. Thought you were thirty something. Robert Smith said, good night, toy. Robert Smith, let me get Robert Smith straight, man. That, that's my people right there. Robert Smith. There we go. Yeah, man, traveling with toy. She up out of here, man. Yeah, I ain't gonna hold y'all, man. I just wanted to, um, when I first came in, I definitely wanted to talk to y'all about, or anybody who was listening, man, you know how to grow that YouTube channel in 30 days, man. And and these the last the 30 day period from November 2nd to obviously um you know December 2nd was explosive for me, man. My channel, you know, has gotten thousands of views, man, since I came from Memphis. And you know, I want to thank L Boogie again for letting me post that video of the Don't Master Demonology race. We'll, we'll say demonology versus don't master since demonology won the last time. He can put his name on the left side of the marquee. So uh, the show, big showdown too, will be uh, demonology versus don't master in Dallas, Texas, man, April tenth. But I need y'all to be in town like April 9th, man, because there's always gonna be something the day before. So I'm looking forward to getting to town, maybe April eighth, maybe, um, no later than the morning of the ninth. I don't know if I'm flying in, renting something, flying in, shipping something, or uh, driving there, pulling something. I don't know. You know, my preference would be to fly and ship something if I'm racing something of my own. Um, that would be my preference to fly and ship something. Yeah. It says, come on, have a good night, bro. Glad to have caught the live. Yeah, man, appreciate you, brother. Appreciate all y'all, man, for real. Oh, I just saw what SS Cover One said, we some young, old, yeah, we are young old. <laughs> Y'all see me with the beard, man. But I mean, I ain't I ain't looking like nobody granddaddy because I'm not nobody granddaddy. Thank the Lord. Um, but yeah, we young, we young old in this thing, man. Uh, Silverback SS Cover One on coming to Houston. Oh shoot, Houston, go ahead. Yeah, we young old out here, man. I keep it fresh. I rock with Will Smith. Will Smith, young old too now. I think Will Smith he turned fifty this year. Will Smith turned 50, so I rocked real heavy with Will Smith, man. The, um, when I was in the Navy, man, way younger, I used to have my, my high top fade. And um, every place I went overseas, man, they would call me the Fresh Prince. Every place overseas, man, they was like, Fresh Prince. And I would be like, who? And it just stuck with me, man. Every country I would go to, man. It's just cover one. Do I have you on IG? Me? me? Or are you talking about uh, Silverback? Yeah, so so me. Yeah, we we friends on Instagram, right? I think so. Oh, silver. Oh, my bad. I was about to say, dang, I'm I'm tripping. I, I thought it was, man. Unless you, man, knowing you, man, you probably done um unfollow me on Instagram, man. That's messed up, brother. That's real messed up. You unfollow me on Instagram. Let, man, let me find out you unfollow me on Instagram. Let me pull up my Instagram right quick. Let me find out you don't follow me. I'm going right now. Hold up. I'm, don't try to go and, and subscribe. If you just follow me now, I'll know. Let me see. I'm going right now. And I'm going to turn the phone around and I'm going to show these folks. Let me see. SS. SS cover one. Okay. Now let me see if you're following me. Okay. Right there at the top. He's following King Vapors. Hey, SS Cover One. I'm just checking, man. I thought you were talking to me, man. I'm like, what you mean? Uh, uh, you thought you might have, you know, thought you might have got mad at me or something, man. I don't know what I could have done to you, man. 
<laughs> I'm just messing with you, brother, man. I appreciate you, bro. Real talk, man. Like, y'all, man, I could just thank y'all forever, man. I, I know y'all, I don't know what y'all be thinking sometimes. I'm just like, I started a YouTube channel, bro. And I remember doing these lives with like uh, two people in here. What's somebody said, Eve was playing, go get the crown. Hey, don't make me go get the crown. Then I'm gonna be then I'm gonna be in here stunting on SS Cover One. I'm, then I'm gonna really get on them. Then I'm gonna block them. Then then I'm gonna unsubscribe from him on Instagram, YouTube. I'm gonna block them. You know what I mean? I'm gonna do all that. I'm gonna do all those things, you know what I mean, to to, to cover one. Nah, I don't do me like that. God, oh, I ain't gonna do it like that, man. But yeah, man, I ain't gonna get in my feelings, man. If I get in my feelings and put the crown on, because the, the, the king make hard decisions. When I got the crown on and I got the coffin lining, robe on, when I got the coffin, I, my, my attitude changed. And I, I just might unsubscribe from folk. Man. I might just pull the plug on y'all, man. So forgive me. Forgive me if I do that. If y'all see me unsubscribe from y'all, that means I had the crown on, I had the robe on. It was three in the morning and I felt like making a tough decision. So I unsubscribed from SS Cover One, man. Matter of fact, let me see what he got going on his page. Maybe he knows it. SS Cover I might start doing videos. We might start doing lives and we go to, I'm going to use my, my screen share um, and we go to people's um, Instagram pages and see what they got going on. SS Cover One. What is this? It's a black screen. SS Cover One. What's going on? Why, why is it just a black screen? Your last post. That was June second. Oh, for sure. I got you. I just I just realized that now. I see, it was it was June. Yep, blackout for sure. Yep. I got you, brother. Let me let me leave you alone. Let me leave your page alone, man. You're you're a good brother, man. You got a good sense of humor, man. I, and I love folk like that because, like I always say, man, if if I don't, if I don't joke with you. That means I don't mess with you. That means I don't fool with you. Now, I'm not going to attack anybody. Y'all have never heard me attack anybody. Y'all ain't never heard me drag nobody's name through the mud. I don't do that. I won't say your name. You know what I mean? But in a real life situation, if, if you were to ask me a question, did JoJo uh, steal $10 from you? Yeah, JoJo stole $10 from me. That ain't talking bad about JoJo. I'm, I'm repeating a fact that JoJo stole $10 from me. I don't have no problem saying that. And I see a lot of people, yeah, grown men, y'all be scared to say names, man. What you scared to say a name for? If somebody, if, if JoJo stole your, your fake Go, black Go, GoPro, $49 junk, it worked just like a, a, a real GoPro. So I don't care what y'all say. This is my GoPro. Uh, $49 uh, um, Amazon, C-O-O-A-U, $49 to work. So I don't have no problem saying nobody's name, man. But I'm kicking all positive vibes. So I really don't have time to spend talking about somebody. But in context, if I was talking about something and in context, I spoke a fact about a person. I don't have no problem saying that. I don't have no problem saying no, no facts about me. If you got some facts about me and you say uh, E-Vapor said X, Y, Z. And I can be like, yo, I did say that. I stand by that. Or I apologize for what I said. I ain't gonna be like, oh, they talking bad about you. Yo, they can talk about me. God controls me. He controls my footsteps. You feel me? You feel me? And that's why I don't have to say nothing about nobody, man. I've had people cross me. You know what I mean? Some people that y'all know. Some, some big YouTubers that y'all know. You know what I mean? I just smile about it. You know what I mean? And just like this, they've been revealed to be who they really aren't. My life has gone like this because YouTube is this big of, of my life. And just like y'all watch YouTube videos, it's this big of y'all life, the YouTube videos that y'all watch for entertainment purposes, for motivation. It's a small part of your life. But some of these YouTubers, man, they, they swear they God's gift to America. And they don't understand if YouTube were to change their platform tomorrow and just say, hey, we're not monetizing anymore. Or we're only going to monetize video game channels. You will have some of the saddest and sickest folk in America out here. Because guess what? You guys are still going to watch YouTube because y'all aren't getting paid for the YouTube. But somebody, like, like I said about the pandemic, the pandemic revealed some of y'all favorite YouTubers. 
because they couldn't go out and about and create garbage content like they normally do. They were stuck in their room looking at the camera. Cue the crickets. Then they start major capping. I'm about to buy this. I'm about to buy that. You ain't about to do nothing. You, you, you've been found out, man. Now they're doing hustle moves. They're hustling money out of folk. You know what I mean? They're doing all kind of hustle moves to pay their rent, to pay their, to pay their lease notes. You know what I mean? They got re A lot of them got revealed, man. All around the world, man. YouTubers around the world got revealed during the pandemic. Facts. Say it ain't so. And you know if somebody's capping, if they say they're going to do something, they're going to buy something, and they don't do it. It don't happen. You don't need me to say that. You watch their videos. I'm going to buy a Lexus uh, GS450. Then I never mention the 450 ever again. I'm going to raffle off my gimbal. I'm going to raffle off my BMW i8. And in six months, y'all y'all been buying raffle tickets. Y'all been buying raffle tickets for the last three, four, five months. And ain't no winner been revealed. Y'all still see me driving the I-8. Whole year done went by. Y'all done bought $100 raffle tickets. Car still in the driveway. A lot of YouTubers, major capping, major stealing, major hustling. So shout out to the real ones that really raffle off cars, that really raffle off you know, PS5s and Xboxes, man. Shout out to the real ones that are really putting smiles on folks' faces, man. And shout out to the fake ones that are hustling and scamming. I can't wait till you get caught. Can't wait. Um, what was this? All positive. Uh, I don't know what what they in there talking about. I'm, I'm let me scroll down. Rubik's. I'm still in here doing some multitasking. All right. Silverback PS2. Um, true vapors. I seen one one change. It's his cover. I was one of his biggest supporters, and he changed on me, old money and everything. Hey, it's his cover one. Trust me, I know, brother. I already know, man. I'm to my big ones too. Hey, and I'm I'm look, King Vapors. Don't worry about that kind of stuff. Cause this this is what I think big YouTubers do, right? I'm just talking about me. They probably go to my page and see at the time I probably had like a thousand subscribers, and who is he? That's what they, that's the biggest mistake you can make. Who is he? And they don't watch none of my videos. They ain't learned nothing. They don't know my success story of growing up poor and you know building a beautiful home on the golf course and the I eight and you know trading currency, multiple streams of income, walking away from a hundred thousand dollar job. Think about it. If I walk away from a hundred thousand dollar job, would you think I'm getting more right, or you think I'm 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 going backwards? Think about that. If they understood that the different things that they could tap into for free. They wouldn't discount me because I'm a major player in real life. You know what I mean? The YouTube don't have nothing to do with being a major player that's helping people, that's loving on people, that have built people's up, people up, encourage people. You know what I mean? That's that's vapors right there in real life. So these big YouTubers, a lot of times they discount you based on how many subscribers you have. But guess what? The cavalry is on the way. The subscribers are going up. You know, the e vapors family name is growing you know what i mean like we we're on the way up man and when i get to that level that one million subscriber level you know what i mean i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do y'all like like them guys do man they do y'all dirty when they got fifty thousand subscribers they do y'all dirty when they got 150,000, 200,000 subscribers they do y'all dirty man when they sitting on eight hundred thousand subscribers you know what i mean now vapors play the tape back Play the tape back if I change on y'all, man. If I act like I don't know y'all, man. Play the tape back. Play this tape back right here. Um, Shane L. Your boy, what up, your boy Tizzle? Couple one, yes, sir, Tizzle. Big Chief, hello, everyone. Did I go back too far? No, I didn't. I'm just, okay, y'all was like saying, yup. Uh, Silverback, go to Social Blade and look people up. Yeah, Social Blade is, is uh, Social Blade is close. Mm-hmm. Rubik's. Uh, Social Blade be telling it all. Yes, Social Blade do. Social Blade is it's, it's pretty spot on, man. Uh, it's just a couple of ones. They do you dirty. At, they do you dirty at 15K. Boy, 
We got YouTubers at 15K doing folk. I don't even want to know. I'm going to delete that comment. SS Cover One, let me delete that. Let me take the wrench and delete that comment. They, You lying. They doing folk dirty at 15K. They done got the big head at 15K subscribers, man. Come on, man. They getting the big head at 15K subscribers. My goodness, man. That's a fool mess. Big Chief, No Limit. Oh, No Limit Eddie is in here. Did I miss it? My brother come in here. My L.A. N.C.H.Q. brother. I must have missed it. Fast Gatto. What's good, fam? I see you, Fast Gatto. Robert King in the building. Blessings to everyone. SS Cover One, LOL. Yes, sir. Silverback. SS Cover One going to charge you 1K just to talk to me. Hey, shoot. Now, look, Silverback, let me say this. If you have people charging... Um, Five hundred dollars, two thousand dollars to talk to them. If they, if you charge that, and the person knows that, and they talk to you, cool. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Whatever they pay for, give them what they pay for. If someone pays for a, I'm not even gonna say a collab. A collab is a mutual thing. If someone pays for you to allow them to be in your video allow them to be in your video and you receive their money mission accomplished if someone pays you to be in their video then you should be in their video and they should give you your money and everybody should be happy it could be ten thousand dollars if they agree to pay you ten thousand to be in your video let them be in your video that's a business transaction it's not a collab all i'm saying is man be a man of your word be a woman of your word do what you say you're gonna do that's it it's a business model, man. Like I do consulting. I can't do my consulting for free. I do sometimes when I when I feel like it. But here's my price list. Here's what I promise to do. And when I do it, I want my bread. Fast got on what up, Silverback, Rubik's. Uh, couple one in there laughing. Rubik's, what up, Fast Got on Robert King. Mr. King Vapors, Silverback, couple one, Rubik's, Silverback, but 15K. Rubik's, what up, Robert King? Silverback, Fast Gatto, Robert Smith with the thumbs up. What's notarized? Big Chief said notarized. Hopefully, I'll be monetized uh, when I wake up in the morning. It said I was uh, 57. Let me see. I took a picture of it. What was it? 57 hours away? 3,947 watch hours that's what it said so i got a video that's releasing tomorrow morning 9 a.m eastern standard time i believe that'll be 6 a.m on the west coast um 8 a.m central time if i'm not mistaken yeah i think so but um on that note man i just want to tell y'all again thank you guys man i appreciate you guys um i wouldn't be where i'm at without you guys for real talk man y'all really really um impressed me man like, when I see y'all names pop up in the comment section, man, I respond to every single comment, man. And, and y'all are running my – and hopefully y'all are logged in under your name and, and you're watching my videos, man. You got a playlist running, man. I appreciate all that. And when I tell y'all, we going to get paid. When them, We going to get paid. Cause we, we giving away money now before the YouTube checks come in. Y'all done seen me give away a lot of money, man, plenty of times. And we're going to continue to do that. Why? Because I'm a giver, man. That's just what I am. I'm a giver. I like to build people up. I like to give. I like to love on people, man. And I just challenge you. What Name your big, your favorite big YouTubers that's giving y'all, that's giving out money like that. Where did, who? Where the big YouTubers that y'all be seeing come in, come in lives and drop super chats? I, I would like to know if, if there's some big YouTube. I, I ain't seen. I've been in a lot of lives and stuff, man. I don't be seeing no big YouTubers coming in dropping no super chat money. I'm just saying. Let me know if I'm wrong. Y'all see, y'all see what I do. And I'm not knocking anybody. I'm just saying. Yeah, TK in our crew, man. TK is one of us, though. TK do that. Yeah, T, TK, he, he lived down the street from me. Yeah, he lived down the street. For sure. But think about what I'm saying. 
and I guess when I say big YouTubers, I mean TK, he on the way up too. The big YouTubers, man, you know, 50,000, 75, 100,000, you know what I mean? The big YouTubers, that's what I mean. 50,000, 75, 100,000, two. I don't see a lot of them doing that, man. Oh, y'all big to me. Oh, man, that's a blessing, man. Appreciate you. And, and yeah, we do, like TK, New York, we, we do that kind of stuff, man, because it's genuine. But I, it always baffles me. I'm like, yo, if you a big time YouTuber and you got 800,000 subscribers, um, you got 100,000, 200,000, you know, why, why don't you drop it? Show your folks some love, man. Go live sometime, man. Drop some cash, man. Put some nuggets in your videos, man, and send out some cash apps, man. You feel me? Go to some smaller YouTuber channels that are monetized. Show them some love, man. Drop some cash in there, man. You know what that's going to do? It's probably going to get your subscribers, too, because you in there dropping super chats. And people are like, oh, who that dropping Super Chat? I never heard of that YouTuber before. Let me go to his page and, 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 and subscribe. It all works together, man. It all is, it's almost like free advertising. You showing the YouTuber love. That's why I love New York show, man. I love going to New York show because he shows so many people love, man. Real, man, yeah, I love Real to Real, man. Real to Real, man, I love him. I met him in person. And again, we talk off camera, just a regular down home type dude, man. So, again, I'm not knocking big YouTubers by numbers. I'm just saying, why don't, why don't they do that? It's just, it's just like a mystery to me, man. So I'm going to be me. And with my 2,000 subscribers, I'm going to give. Before I came on YouTube, I was giving. When I hit 20,000, when I hit 100,000, when I hit a million, I'm going to keep giving. You did what I'm saying? And y'all folk in here, the, the early folk that's been rocking with me, that's making comments on a regular basis, man. Y'all my eVapers family. And um, shoot, man, y'all just going to keep pushing me. And we're going to get to the top. We're going to give away cars. We're going to give away money. We're going to do it, bro. We're going to give away trips. We're just going to do it, man. Hey, man, we're going to the YouTubers event. Hey, man, I'm going to pay for your plane ticket to get you out there. That's how we're supposed to do. Golden Jewel, what's up, man? I see you just dropped in here, man. We about to... We about to rock out, man, and I um, hope everybody have a, a super blessed um, week coming up, man. I know it's a work week, and um, for me, I do consulting on Monday and Wednesdays, so I'll be out and about tomorrow. But uh, other than that, man, y'all know I'm at the house, retired, man, retired. Shane L. giving the gift. Um, that is something that they can't fake. Can't fake that. Cause when you give out that money, when you send that cash out, either you did or you didn't. When you drop that super super check. Either you did it or you didn't. Can't fake that, man. So you can fake and phone all you want on your channel. And and all I ask, man, as a consumer, y'all just keep your eyes open and support the real ones. Don't waste your time with the fake ones. Support the real ones. Don't waste your time with the fake ones. And you don't have to run nobody's name in the mud. All I do is just unplug. I rock with you. I, I find out you're not like Silverback. Silverback quick to be like, hey, man, I'm unsubscribing. And I'm the same way. I'm just like, I'm not rocking with that cat no more, man. I really don't like the direction that the channel is going. Let me let me not rock with that. Or even a TV show. Not even YouTube. If it's a TV show, I'm like, I don't like the way that my it killed my character off the show. I'm unplugging. I'm not watching this show anymore. They killed my favorite character. So it ain't even about YouTube. It's anything in life. Family, friends. Just unplug. And I don't make an announcement. Man, this is my last tip I'm going to give y'all, and I got to go. I hate seeing Facebook posts that say, like, I'm leaving Facebook. I can't stand this, that, 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 that. Man, I left Facebook probably three years ago. Man, I ain't say a word, man. I just didn't like Facebook no more, man. It was kind of the vibe went down. I just stopped posting on, on, on Facebook. I didn't say, because of this, this, this. I hate when people make those announcements, man. It's like, just just do it. Just make your move, man. Because nobody really cares if you leave Facebook, uh, Instagram. The real world, you're still here. You're still inside of a pandemic, and you're still making it. That's what really matters. So stop all these announcements. Don't run folk name in the mud, man. Just unplug. That's the word of the day. Just unplug, man. Don't run the name in the mud. Just unplug. Don't unplug the e-vapors now. Come on now. I love y'all, man. I'm out. And y'all know what we do around here, man. Let me see somebody drop in the chat. Y'all know what we do around here. What we do around here, man. Come on, man. Somebody help me out. What we do around here. <laughs>
What we do around here, man? Come on, who who watched the channel? What we do around here? I'm waiting in the chat. There you go. <laughs> we swipe up. And if SS Cover One didn't put it, oh, we get money. Oh, yeah. Okay. We swipe up. We get money. That's okay. Okay. Shoot. Hey, I love y'all, man. Peace out, man.